pioneered the UCU team. I started the team. I got the girls together, I got someone scholarship and I started and I'm glad it's gone on up to now. Most universities just give up so kudos to them. And um, um, it's, un well, I don't know if it's unfortunate that we're always the ones in the finals, but I guess like I said, to be the best you have to beat the best. So just don't dream to get to the finals, you actually have to beat one of us to get there. So. This series, I think as always, we're equally matched with UCU. They have good big men, so do we. They have good guards, and so do we. So it comes down to, hey, can you make the least mistakes? And then, can you capitalize on the opponent's mistakes? That's all it is, really. It's a mind game, I guess. <laughs> them know me for my good eyesight to sight my players and obviously driving in. Shooting behind the arc is a bonus for me but I normally, I do it if it's available but it's not my, my, my strong point unless it's called for and you know me, whenever duty calls I show up. I'm one that has eyes behind her head. That is why I'm team Uganda's point guard <laughs> because I can see I can see a loophole before it happens. I think it's a gift from God, so proud of myself, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Who are not ready for Zone 5 tournament. And we did it. Another bunch of people now think we're just going to go there and just participate. That's not what we intend to do. And I have to give it up for the national team management. Those, they, they're not sleeping. Starting from Haji to Grace to Silva, all the way down to Albert, they are not sleeping. So we have to put into consideration that we are here, we're playing in Uganda, but there are some Ugandans out there who are playing in other countries. We're going to bring them back home and we're going to go there and actually compete for our country. So I have a good feeling about next year. I'm hoping for success all through. It might be below, it might be this, but the only way you can really judge what's really happening is if you get everybody from all around your zone and you're like, oh damn, I actually beat them. Did I just swear? Sorry. <laughs> I actually beat them and um, I think we're getting somewhere. From where it was before to now, we are definitely a threat everywhere we go. So I think we're doing a good job. The reason the scores are really low is because the defense is really tight. You're not going to come and score 100 points on UC or A1 or, or Stormers. You're not because everybody's out to get blood.